Hey, how's it going, guys? So I just want to do a real quick video showing how I um, I personally have my mouse set up for Battlefield 1. So I'll go over into the Xname plugin here. And you'll want to go to uh, File, and then create a new empty layout. Um, you can also choose the FPS Basic or an FPS Pro. And all those do are um, set your corresponding keyboard keys. Um, up for you. It'll, it'll save you a little bit of time if that's how you, you personally like playing. But now, um, the way I have this set up right here, this is all my personal preference and how I play whenever I'm, you know, whenever I play. Now, if you notice, I have these extra inputs set down here. The extra input one is set to a mouse button, and I have a GPC script that toggles um, auto spot off and on. And where it has F1, that'll toggle my rapid fire off and on. Now, that's completely optional. Um, I'll go ahead and include the GPC script that I use in the, in the forum post for you guys. So, um, once you have all of that set up, you'll need to go into your layout options and into your mouse settings. Now, the first thing we'll need to do is set our mouse DPI. I use 2400 on my mouse. You'll be able to find what your mouse uses in the mouse software. So, um, you know, for instance, if you're using a Corsair mouse, look in the Corsair software. If you're using a Razer mouse, look in the Razer software. If you're using a Logitech mouse, look in the Logitech software to see what you're using. And whatever number that you're using there, enter that into this box. Um, you know, again, this box right here equals what your mouse is using outside of Xaim. This doesn't set the DPI that um, that your mouse will now use. This needs to match what your mouse is already using so that all of these numbers are applied correctly. So again, the mouse that I have, the mouse itself is set to 2400, which is why I have 2400 set in my DPI. Now for my dead zone shape, we want an ellipse. And this, you know, allows a circular dead zone shape. We're going to do a 26 dead zone, as that's just a little bit over what the um, the minimum values that, that the uh, controller will read. And then the stick eyes, just leave that maxed out. We have a 30 smoothness. You can adjust that to your liking. Um, you can lower it or raise it some. Just keep in mind that if you have it up too high or too low, your your mouse won't it won't feel very very good at all. Um, the acceleration I have set to 290. Um, and what the acceleration does is basically, um, the higher you have this number, the slower your, your physical mouse movements will be to max out the, um, the thumbstick value. Because again, this applies, you know, your mouse movement over to a thumbstick value. So if you have this too low, you're going to have to be like moving your hand all over the place to read 100 on the thumbstick. And if you have it too high, your mouse movements are going to be weird and unstable. And, you know, like the slightest bit of, uh, hand movement will, We'll be reading 100 on the thumbstick. And then the sensitivity, you can have this set to your liking. Um, I have it set at a 28. And um, obviously, if you lower this sum, it'll, um, it'll move more slowly. And if you raise it all the way up to 30, that will, um, you know, cause a, uh, a more responsive mouse. Now, with that being said, if you raise your sensitivity all the way up, that affects the acceleration. So if you... Um, if you have too high of a sensitivity with too high of an acceleration, it's going to feel weird. So you can either lower the acceleration some or start lowering your sensitivity. I personally find it easier to lower the sensitivity. Um, when, whenever I create a whole new empty layout for a game that doesn't have any mouse settings, what I do is I always start out with a maximum sensitivity and then I at, uh, set my acceleration to about uh, 0 0.350. And then from there, I, I usually end up lowering the, the acceleration value as well as the sensitivity to get it to feel right. Um, but anyways, once you have all that set up, you'll need to go into the game and change some of your control settings and the in-game options menu. So uh, let me go ahead and get faded over to that right quick for you. Alright, so once you're in the game, from the main menu, you will go over to where it says More. and just go into the options here. Obviously you'll then need to go into controls. And I have my vertical look inverted because that's just how I personally play. 
Now for the soldier stick sensitivity, you need to make sure this is at all the way to 100%. Same with the vehicle stick sensitivity. And then the soldier zoom sensitivity, while well, I leave mine at 100%, there's a, a handful of users who prefer to have this lowered down to 90%. Um, however, I don't recommend doing this as it may cause a little bit of a, um, a lag or delay feeling in your, your mouse settings whenever you're aiming. I would um, personally use a GPC script that lowers the sensitivity whenever you're aiming down sights. Which, um, it'll, it'll lower the sensitivity if it sees that the, uh, the left trigger is pulled or whichever button you have set to go into the aim down sights mode in your game. Okay, so now we'll go into the advanced settings. And I leave all of these at 100. Now for the plane control, the, caval uh, the cavalry sensitivity and the tank sensitivity, I set all of these to 200% because that makes it feel um, you know, really good with the mouse. Anything lower, your your mouse movement feels super slow, and it it just doesn't feel quite right. Now the turret sensitivity, I had started out with that at 200%, and I ended up lowering it down to 130%, because anything too high, it um the the closest thing I could think to compare it to would be um the mouse had too much acceleration, so it would just slam you know completely at a maximum value and it would feel really weird, so I lowered that down some. Um, I have to move my hand a little bit faster than normal to, to aim at a steady rate, but it feels good because if I get excited and try to like whip off to the right and, and shoot a plane that's flying at me, it, it goes where I think it should go. It doesn't um, overcompensate and end up missing my, my target. And now these field gun, fortress turret, and HMD turrets, I um... You know, I found that these work best at 200% as well. Um, you can raise or lower these. Well, I guess you don't have any other option to lower them from 200%. So you can lower them to your liking. And the uniform soldier aiming, I have that turned off. Um, you can turn that on if you wish. That's all just personal preference. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all you have to do in the advanced controls. And once you have all of that set and your mouse settings set up correctly, you'll be good to play.